We're here at the train station. About to catch a train from here, Dalat, to Dui Hua. And already, we got cut. In line. She did it with confidence. She's saying, like, she's like, I'm gonna buy a ticket. And she just straight away in front of us. And I ain't even mad because she's saying it hella good. <laughs> That's what she did? Uh -huh. uh. <laughs> This is the cleanest bus in the history of buses. You gotta take your shoes off. That's tight. Should we wipe our seats down? It might be dirty. This one's pretty dirty. But it's okay. I feel like we should have been up there because we're more agile. But there's like older people up there. Why do we get this bus versus a plane? It's the stupidest thing. So I looked up planes to go from Belak to my hometown. There's not a direct flight. We have to fly back down to Saigon. And then there's like an eight hour layover. And then fly up north to over Belak to my hometown. Which is like... I think it was a total of like a 12 hour trip or something, but the bus is like less than seven. They keep telling me different times, so I don't know. I heard two, I heard 1.30, and I think I just heard one. It's cool, we got first class seats. I mean, everybody got first class seats, but... We first first class, because we up here first. Yeah. <laughs> There's a Wi-Fi on here. He just announced it, I just signed it. Oh, yeah. Give me the last drowsy drum. Why is that better than a US bus? You lay down and you get free Wi Fi. And the and water. And water. Sugar water. I love me some sugar water. If you guys are wondering, safety comes first. <laughs> Not in Vietnam. Mine just has the buckle. <laughs> Aren't you glad you have someone that understands the knees? You'd be sitting here not on the bus. <laughs> I would be like stuck in nowhere. Aren't you glad you have a useful fiance? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> I would be eating crappy food and probably be really sick right now. You would have ate the food that we ate yesterday all day, every day. <laughs> yeah. And I would have been getting swindled left and right. <laughs> VIP pit stop. Watch everybody disperse into the wilderness. Uh, I think I don't know what to do for you, but the girls went that way. They went that way? Yeah. And that was the VIP bathroom treatment. Our bus is on the wrong side of the road. There's a big rig driving straight towards us. We're now in the province of Phu Hien.
feels like we've been here forever. I know. We've only been here for like three days. I know. It does feel like, I mean, nothing wrong with this. It's just, it's just been feeling like really long. It feels like we live here now. I know. Check this out. So it's the end of the day. It's been a uh, tiring day of traveling by bus, but it's actually kind of fun because it was a luxury sleeping, laying down bus. And we got to Lin's hometown of Tuihua. She's knocked out. We're here for a whole nother week and then some. It feels like we've been here for a really long time, but we've really only been here for three days. So looking forward to new food, new experiences, new people. I'll catch you guys next time. Maybe I'll catch you in real life. Peace.